Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your Storm Track 15 weather. Welcome back. It is 516 and it's time to check in with Storm Track 15 a meteorologist Adam Olivier. Good morning. What do you have for us? Hey there, Alex. Yeah, you know, we're talking about some muggy air to start off your Monday morning out there. And not only that, we're going to be talking about some rain chances too. But right now, those rain chances are pretty low. What well, we're looking at currently in Lafayette, 71 degrees and clear conditions, at least for the time being. 69 in Opelousa, 71 in New Iberia to start your day. But watch what happens. The later in the day we go, start to add in some shower chances here and maybe a rumble of thunder, but I don't think we see too much in the way of those thunderstorm chances. However, look at these temperatures, 78 degrees by 9 o'clock this morning, 85 by the middle part of the day, and then this afternoon, scorcher, upper 80s to near 90 degrees, and that's with a lot of humidity. Now we are awaiting this line of big storms back off to our west into Texas. Out ahead of it, we have a few light showers developing into far western Louisiana, but this line is going to slowly work its way eastbound here, and then that is going to lead to our rain chances today. So here we go, picking up our future cast by about 7 o'clock. Now this line is forecast to weaken, so we're not expecting strong storms or severe weather, but the possibility of some brief heavy rain is there. We go forward to around 9 o'clock and look at how fast that line basically evaporates. By the middle part of the day, there's not a whole lot left to it. You can see maybe an isolated shower or two being picked up by the future cast. 3 o'clock this afternoon, a few more of these isolated showers rolling their way on through. So not everyone's going to get in on the rain, but those that do, it's not going to be a whole lot to really talk about. And then as we head into the evening hours, still not tracking a whole lot out there until we get into the overnight and this model actually picks up on some rain hanging on through the overnight period as that weak front which is causing all these showers and storms just kind of sets up shop across the region. High temperatures today you get a little bit more in the way of cloud cover a few more showers around you'll be in the upper 80s. Uh, as we head to the overnight hours, though, we are looking at those 70s showing back up in the forecast. And then tomorrow you can see a few more showers, still very warm. And as we look at the Raging Cajun football game tomorrow night, things looking pretty nice overall. I mean, I guess you can say that. We're tracking a few showers out there, but those temperatures in the 80s falling into the 70s by the time the game ends. So I'd definitely grab an umbrella just in case, but we're not going to be tracking a whole lot of those showers and storms around the region. That continues through the rest of this week until we get into the weekend. Finally, seeing a cold front rolling on through here by Saturday. But basically, it's going to be a week, at least today through Friday, of humidity, hit and miss showers, and those temperatures right about the 90 degree mark, Alex. Okay, so we are back to that. Yes, huh. back to summer. Well, thank you, Adam. We appreciate it. Of course, we'll be checking in with you all morning long.